After the October 7th massacre and ensuing war, Regent University involved its International Institute of Postgraduate Education in Ukraine to train Russian-speaking counselors in Israel. Together with CBN Israel and the Israel Trauma Coalition, they came up with a plan. We've been feeling so connected to Israeli people in our suffering and your suffering because it's very similar to what we experienced as a nation when we experienced barbarian attack on our democracy, on our freedom in the middle of the 21st century. Here at the Maccabea village, Jewish athletes from around the world come to train and compete in the Jewish Olympics. This week, dozens of Russian-speaking therapists have come for a different kind of training. I'm faculty at Regent University and uh, brought two colleagues with me from Ukraine who are uh, trained to um, educate psychologists in immediate stabilization procedure, compassion fatigue, stress management, and just understanding stress reactions so that we can best fit our interventions to help people who are in pain and suffering and have some responses in war situations. Dr. Olya Zaporozhets says trauma from war is ongoing and the Ukrainian professionals have current experience that's valuable in the Israeli situation. We're doing this seminar in Russian language for Russian-speaking clinicians here that we've heard that, that uh, almost 15, 20 percent of Israeli population is Russian speaking. We came to talk about how to help people going through stressful events, whether that's bombings or soldiers in a trench. That is both civilian and military. Psychologist Katarina Krilova says Israelis were eager to learn. Because of the war in Ukraine, they first came to teach us. And now we are able to come to Israel and share here. Psychologist Ludmila Horodianko, who works with both Ukrainian children and adults, shared skills intended to quickly calm trauma victims. And by using these techniques, a victim can be stabilized in just 20 minutes. They also covered compassion fatigue, burnout from listening to the psychological trauma of others. That's why we came to share on these topics, because these conditions can be prevented. Max Goldenberg leads the Israel Trauma Coalition, a leading agency addressing trauma among Israelis in both southern and northern parts of the country. First, I want to thank our partners and friends from CBN Israel for bringing the wonderful team to help us to build a cadre of professionals, mental health professionals in Israel, that can address the trauma among the Russian-speaking audience in Israel. Goldenberg says one and a half million people here feel the impact of the Iron Swords War, either because they lost family members or share connections with the hostages. What we need right now is practical tools that can be implemented immediately tomorrow while, uh, during their work with their patients, with the families and individuals that they, that they support. The Russian-speaking counselors immigrated to Israel decades ago. Some are helping those who fled the war in Ukraine, as well as Holocaust survivors, soldiers and others. It's relevant that she understands not just that she has knowledge, she knows what it feels like to be on the inside of war, inside the crisis. This is important. The Ukrainian girl succeeded in giving us learning days based on experience. It not only helps, but they're really tools that you can take in an orderly way and use them immediately. They credit the immediate stabilization procedure developed in Israel by psychiatrist Dr. Gary Quinn as their most valuable tool. At the beginning of the Ukraine war, Quinn volunteered to first help therapists there, then train them to use the procedure. All of the therapists themselves were at a very high level of stress because of the war and had to do the uh, ISP first to calm them down. During that time, he cites an incredible collaboration with Zaporozhets, Regent University and CBN to modify and adjust the method. The product coming came back in a better condition, much more streamlined and much more effective and efficient in helping people. The Israeli counselors felt enriched by what they learned. It's really an excellent tool and I'll use it a lot. It's not a treatment. It brings a person back to the place where he can function. Right now there is a lot of worry. We need many methods to cope with everything. 
Zaporozhet says she's taking Israeli resilience back to Ukraine and mentioned a humorous but true Israeli saying. All Jewish holidays are like this and it's something that we probably need to do more in Ukraine. Yeah, they were trying to kill us. We survived. Let's eat. It's great. I'm taking it home. She believes the key is a love for country and fighting for the future to leave a better legacy for your children. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Kfar Maccabiah, Israel.